seven moons, seven eyes on my eyes. A similar pattern of consistency running through the sky day after day, month after month, and year after year. Ah, but the centuries will change them only slightly, moving them off kilter by only a few degrees here and there. But my eyes fix on them, and it feels like we're reunited with thoughts, because I wonder how their patterns remain so much alike so often. I feel them looking at me, and I look back. Eyes on eyes. This means that we look into each other and know little about each other until we can be with each other. But I know your patterns. Hello. Hello, I'm Pentium. Hey, Pentium, welcome. I thought you would like a poet. Yeah, um, I wondered before, I wondered, is this, you know, we have a seven day week. Yes. And nothing else on earth has a seven day period. It seems very artificial. Did it come from aliens? Some of it. <laughs> it comes from the Bible, which is incorrect. But that is where it was formed. On the seventh day, God rested, remember? Uh-huh. And so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so they figured that's how many days should be in a week. However many periods he created and then rested. That's how you got your seven. So it was very artificial. So no aliens use seven day week? No. Not that I know of. So it is just made up? It is made up by those people who created your Bible. Was it humans? Um, some were humans and some were aliens. So nobody really knows who created the seven day week. No, it was just that of God. They said the gods did, so. Um, did, did the God do that? It, it is possible that he was talking about seven periods of great amounts of time, which is only logical. Uh-huh. So, yes, he probably did give them the idea, but he didn't name them as days, I don't believe. So it's Not originally. It came from poor translation, basically. Yes, basically. <laughs> and now we have seven-day week, which doesn't make any sense. What would be the optimal week for humans? Would you, would you think it would be like ten days or five? For an optimal use, it depends on the human. Oh, so different humans would have different lengths of the week? Yes. Some people have great stamina, others do not. Yeah, I need like two-day week. A two-day week would be very, very rough for you. Ah. I see. Do aliens have weeks, some sort of a week? We have periods of times that we designate as certain things, yes. But to synchronize the whole civilization into some sort of resting day, Yes. The now is, has a name, yes. Now? The now that we live in has a name, and it is a day. Perhaps you could call it a day. Perhaps you could call it a time expression or period. Um, but we do not really look at it the same way as you do. We don't fit our lives into it. Uh, our week is like a breath of the whole civilization. Mm -hmm. Sunday across the globe is Sunday. Yes. And many days take the day off on Sunday. Many, yes. many people. So does, say, Pleiadian Aaron civilization have a day off, periodic day off? They create their own day off whenever it is needed. But it's not synchronized and not every certain no. number of days. Because sometimes you work very hard for four days or five days or seven days or ten days uh -huh. and then the, that following day you realize it is a time for a rest. 
So it is the body tells you. So it's unique for Earth to have synchronized the whole civilization into a certain time period, like seven days. There are some lesser advanced civilizations that do similar things, yes. Because they needed the structure. Do we know any of them? No. Yes, a couple of the rept earlier reptilian races. And there's a race of um, humanoids uh, that call themselves Pleats. Uh -huh. And they have a similar kind of... But their weeks are eight days long. Ah. So... But nothing like, uh, no one, we, 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 like Lirans don't have a, a week and uh, Yael don't have a week. They have a, they have a rotation calendar of how the sun rotates. Yes. But they do not formulate it into specific times placements, like they're going to be here and there. They go where they need to go when they need to go there. Right. But the Kesh has holidays, and they are possibly the holidays are connected to the calendar, right? No. No? They're connected to uh, different celebrations. Uh, the celebration itself is perhaps a birthday might be considered, or an anniversary. But uh -huh. many of their graduations are not based on calendars. It's whenever you graduate, you graduate. Uh -huh. Whenever you come to a certain realization or a period of time when you make an enlightened decision and they have a celebration for that, it is not known when that will be. And so they prepare their celebrations um, at will, uh -huh. so to speak. Yes. A, a birthday does not have to be celebrated on a calendrical system. Uh -huh. But when you reach that one year, within several days of that one year, you can have the celebration any of those days. Uh -huh. In fact, some days on your birthday you don't feel well. Yes. Or you feel like you need to study or do something else. So that would not be a day for your celebration. Exactly. So they do not specifically keep that day as your celebration day, but you get to choose what day you would like. And if you're not feeling well that day, you can push it off to a different day. You know, discuss. I'm kind of stepping on the new ground, and I would like to have someone to discuss that because until it's now. It's the spirit planet out this doorway. It's again? It's your planet, nature. Yes. Isn't it pretty now? There's a large yellow flower. Yeah, it's sunflower, yes. It's beautiful. It is. But it's nice weather lately. Yes. I'm sorry, I was sidetracked. So I'm just, you know, stepping on new ground and I didn't discuss with anyone and basically